Transhumanism is the once fringe belief, which has turned into a movement of religion, really, of people who are hoping to use advanced technology to enhance their mental and physical abilities in order to direct humans' supposed evolution to the next phase. Some of the ideas brought forth by transhumanists are noble, such as helping the handicapped or curing disease, but most of them dream of one day eliminating aging and even death and transforming themselves into cyborgs that live forever. They'll no longer be humans, hence the name transhuman. They're better than us. They literally believe that they will evolve into gods. The term transhumanism is symbolized by H+, and at the heart of their planned enhancements are cybernetic devices like neural interfaces, which they plan to physically wire into their brains to merge man and machine to interface with the internet directly through the mind by creating a two-way communication path so that they become essentially a biological terminal like the slaves in the Matrix. Johnny Depp starred in the seemingly science fiction fantasy Transcendence back in 2014 about an artificial intelligence researcher who uploads his mind to the internet and attempts to become immortal. The film received pretty bad reviews, probably because most critics were unaware that such plans are actually in the works, and one of the goals of transhumanism is to accomplish exactly that. It served as a warning about the dangers of transhumanism, and it revealed the dark ramifications of this emerging religion, promising mankind immortality and ascendance to godhood. Depp's character, Dr. Will Castor, was based on the real-life transhumanist leader Ray Kurzweil, who predicts that around the year 2045, humans will have replaced their brains and bodies with cybernetic silicon-based systems and mechanical bodies. Kurzweil works as an engineer for Google, which purchased an anti-aging company in 2013 named Calico to help pursue his dreams of, quote, curing death. Martin Rothblatt, who was born Martin Rothblatt, who has worked on the Human Genome Project, is trying to build a replica of her wife, Bina, and hopes to upload her wife's brain into the cybernetic recreation, along with creating a cybernetic replica of herself so that the two can live as immortal cyborgs. Martine's net worth is around $400 million, and Martine is dedicating her life to becoming a god. And in 2004, started a religion called the Terrasem Movement, which is dedicated to developing transhumanist technology to accomplish this. Another top scientist, Dr. Richard Seed, a geneticist, issued this warning for anyone who would dare to try to stop him. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. That is the very mindset that people like Bill Gates and the executives at Google have. They are evil. Not just megalomaniacal billionaires with God complexes. They're evil. The kind of evil the Bible warns about. The kinds of people who, at their very core, are satanic. Transhumanist philosopher Zoltan Eisvan believes that teaching children the Bible should be banned and suggests that it should be a crime for anyone trying to hold up the transhumanist revolution. In his novel, The Transhumanist Wager, the transhumanists are targeted by Christian terrorists who are fundamentally opposed to the technology, much like the terrorist group Rift in Johnny Depp's Transcendence, who hoped to prevent him and other scientists from achieving the singularity, fearing that it would be a disaster for mankind. Not long after the film's release, Stephen Hawking warned against the creation of artificial intelligence, saying it could be mankind's biggest mistake, and expressed fears that it may enslave or exterminate us. Billionaire tech guru Elon Musk once warned that creating an AI would be like summoning a demon, but his company Neuralink is designing BMIs, brain-machine interfaces, to physically wire the internet into people's brains for the planned transhumanist revolution. He's also developing an AI system and believes that the only way that humans will be able to successfully survive the creation of an artificially intelligent system, or entity, or whatever you want to call it, is to physically merge with it. Google and Facebook are also working on creating an artificially intelligent entity. Google's executives want the company to be more than just a search engine and smartphone operating system. More than an ebook store and a place to stream music and movies. More than something that runs smart home gadgets and medical devices. They want it to become an all-knowing god. 
Ray Kurzweil actually said that Google is trying to build a god. When asked if God exists, he responds, not yet. He was hired by Google in 2012 to work full-time on artificial intelligence and transhumanist tech, and is, like I said, one of the most well-known proponents of transhumanism. Then, they want to wire Google directly into the brains of humans through neural interfaces, or BMIs, brain-machine interfaces, creating a new hybrid species of what they believe will be superhumans or transhumans. It sounds like the plot out of the Matrix, but the world's largest corporations and wealthiest tech titans are literally working towards doing just that. They don't want to just alter the DNA and use nanotechnology to stop the aging process. They want to literally upload the totality of their mind into the cloud or a silicone-based hard drive so that their supposed consciousness can be downloaded into a cybernetic body, believing that that is the key to immortality and transcendence. Dr. Jose Delgado, a neurophysiologist at Yale in the 1960s, carried out experiments wiring electrodes into the brains of animals. Building on his work almost 20 years later, scientists had built a brain implant that lets monkeys control a robot arm with their thoughts, marking the first time in history that mental thoughts and intentions had been harnessed. Since then, the device has been tested on humans. Just look up BrainGate. Ray Kurzweil believes that by the year 2099, neural interfaces will be surgically implanted into almost everyone, and that humans who don't get the implant won't be able to meaningfully understand those who do because they'll be like gods plugged into Google and we'll just be old-fashioned humans. Such megalomaniacal goals seem like science fiction and have been the plot of various films like The Lawnmower Man and Transcendence, but these people are serious. From Ray Kurzweil to Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates, this is their goal. This is their life's mission. They, along with Dr. Richard Seed and others, believe that, like Satan told Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, God the Creator is holding back divine powers of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and that they too can become like God. It's the ultimate deception. It's Bible prophecy unfolding before our very eyes. Google's former motto was, don't be evil, a phrase that was included in their official code of conduct. But in 2018, they quietly removed all references to it. And sadly, more every day, that's exactly what they are becoming. You see, behind the fun of games and sarcasm and jokes, I'm actually a very serious person. And if I were to reveal everything that I know, it might be a little bit too much for some people to handle. But if you really want to know, you should read my books because that's where my uncensored hardcore research is and it's all fully sourced so you can verify it for yourself. So order my book, Hollywood Propaganda, How TV, Movies and Music Shape Our Culture in paperback from Amazon.com or pick up The Liberal Media Industrial Complex or The True Story of Fake News, How Mainstream Media Manipulates Millions or download the eBooks from any of the major eBook stores. And of course, there's a link to the Amazon listing in the description below. So click it and head on over there and check them out.